Menachem E, Ben Shapiro, a fiery conservative voice, steps into a heated House Judiciary hearing, confronting Eric Swalwell with sharp questions about Project 2025. This initiative, driven by the Heritage Foundation, aims to overhaul the federal government if Donald Trump returns to power. Mr. Shapiro, thank you for joining us today. I think it is important that you're here um, as one of the leading conservative voices in the country. And, and the country has, in the last couple of weeks, talked a lot about and Googled uh, Project 2025. It's one of the most Googled uh, search terms right now. And uh, you're not going to get any censorship from me. So uh, I just wanted to know from your perspective, I think it would help us understand on just like a scale of zero to 100 percent, how much do you support Project 2025? I think like President Trump, I haven't looked all that deeply at Project 2025, but it seems that Democrats on this committee, sort of like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, uh, if they say Project 2025 enough, their presidential candidate becomes alive again. And so, well, let's just talk about pieces of it. And you, I guess you can tell me if you support it. Um, you probably want less bureaucracy, right? I do. I want less bureaucracy. You want more efficiency? I do. I want less, more efficiency. You want taxpayer money spent wisely? I do. Congrats on becoming a Republican. Yeah. <laughs> My parents would be proud. In his response, Shapiro passionately defends core conservative values, slashing bureaucracy, boosting efficiency, and ensuring taxpayer money is wisely spent. These principles form the bedrock of a leaner, more effective government. Shapiro's pointed remarks in his piece, Peter Pan and Tinker Bell argue that Democrats are seizing on Project 2025 as a political weapon, using it to deflect from their own failings and revive their agendas. He suggests that Swalwell's line of questioning is a calculated move to paint Shapiro in a negative light, attempting to sway public opinion. Shapiro's fiery rebuttal is more than just a defense. It's a strategic maneuver to steer the conversation back to conservative ideals, resisting the diversion tactics of his opponents.